Uh -huh. Señorita Maribel, what happened yesterday? Se dio a la fuga ayer. <laughs> Hi Maribel, Hi Arely. Hi. How are you today, Arely? I am fine, and you? I'm okay. I have an allergy today. <laughs> but really? I'm okay, yeah. So hot. I know, I think it's, oh my very, God. it's been very, very hot today. And I think, I don't know, oh. I'm allergic to something. <laughs> Aha, Maribel, what happened? Allergy, allergy, uh, what kind of allergy do you I have? I don't know, it's like my nose is really itchy and I've been sneezing. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. But, but you don't know is the, uh, uh, the polvo? Uh, the dust? Uh-huh. No, I don't. Maybe I don't, maybe you were you were cleaning something. In, uh, no, Maribel, I've been in meetings all day today because I've had meetings at university, like like all day today. So I think I'm allergic to meetings. <laughs> oh, uh -huh. with the person. <laughs> yeah, so many, so yeah, many persons. So many meetings. Uh -huh. right. Hi, Robert. Hi, Nidia. Hello. How are you? Hi, Robert. How are you today? <coughs> So far, fine. Maybe. Excellent. Yeah, I'm okay. It's just a little ar allergy I have. So I have like a really itchy nose. <laughs> All right. So, Nidia, how was your day today? Was it a good day at work? Yes. Thank God uh, it was a good day. Okay. Very Easy. Good. Okay. Yes. Nice. Okay. How's the traffic, guys? Mm, awful. Oh, really? Yes. It seems it's normal times. Oh, my goodness. Oh my yes, goodness, I, really? I used to travel on the 49th uh -huh. and it was stopped since, uh, Metro uh, how is the, the, the monument? The Hermano Lejano one? Yes, yes. Really? Yes. Wow. So we took the Montserrat uh, my Street. My goodness, really? Yes, yes wow. because it was so ha. hard. Yes. Wow. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. All right. Hi, Manuel. Hi, teacher. Good How night. are you today? Good, Good evening. evening. How are you? I'm fine. I'm a little, a little busy in my job. Yeah. Today, but okay. I'm fine. Thank you. Okay. All Thank right. You. I'm okay. All right. So besides Nidia, do you like Robert, Manuel, Areli, and Maribel? You don't, you guys don't go out or you going out now? Yes, I went out today. I I I, I took my my cat to the veterinary. <laughs> ah, to the vet. Uh -huh. Oh my goodness! Uh -huh. Okay, okay. All right. So, but uh -huh. it's from here. Oh, okay. All right. Very good. Mm -hmm. Hi, Brenda. Nice to have you in class. Hi, teacher. How are you feeling? Much better. Still all right. recovering, but it's okay yeah. now. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm happy you're back. All right. And that you feel better. Hi, Evelyn. Hi, good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Good. And you? I'm okay. Just with an allergy. <laughs> but I'm okay. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Very good. So thank you for being in another class. Remember that this is the last week of this course. All right. Uh, so we'll continue talking about the writing process for the ones that were with me last course is going to be like a review of some things that we saw last course about introductions and stuff but i mean it's okay because that way you you just kind of like refresh your minds again all right but it's not like everything is not the same but there are like some things that are similar <clears throat> all right so this is the presentation it's preparing to write an introductions okay so when we prepare to write, remember that yesterday, for example, we were saying that it has to be cohesive, you know, it has to make sense. We need to watch number. We need to watch uh, the tenses, the person that we're talking about and everything. So we need to take that into account. And that's all, that is also included in preparing to write. We need to know those things, all right? Now, the introduction of the introductions of your essays or your papers or whatever you're writing, a passage, if you're writing a passage, they need to be well written because that's the first impression of what you're writing, all right? It's like an interview, all right? Or the first day of your job that 
you come up looking very nicely and you're very fresh and everything because that's going to be your first impression or the first impression someone's going to get from you. All right. So the same thing happens when you're writing an introduction is the first paragraph that your audience, the reader is going to read. So you need to make a nice impression. That's why we need to prepare to write. I know just like, you know, scribble and just kind of like whatever, right? So we need to be careful on our introduction. I'm not saying the rest of the paper is not important, but what I'm saying is introductions must be like really well written because that is the first impression of your paper, your essay, or the paragraph you're writing, okay? So here we have, guys, um, I'm just going to put it, um, I'm going to make it bigger here so you see it better. Whoops. Oh, no. What am I doing? I'm going backwards. Okay. So here we have, a, there are some ways that we can actually go about on organizing our ideas. So we prepare for our writing, all right? So here it says, read the lecture expert, uh, excerpt, sorry, below. The expert are examples of five different ways to organize notes on what you're trying to write, okay? So here is the first example. Here we are not gonna read this because this is like the paragraph they read about and they're making notes about it, okay? Um, this is what you can do. For example, if you're giving a question or you're giving a topic, then you write your topic, you read it, and then you can either go about on doing it on organizing your ideas the way the best works for you, all right? So one of them is column or, or uh, charting method, all right? So if you notice, they have like a number here and they just kind of like scribble, they just kind of they are not really writing any sentences. They are not really writing like full sentences, full paragraphs or anything. They are just like taking notes kind of thing. But that way it makes you be like, makes you be like a little bit more organized on what you want to say. Okay. So here, what's key, what is in here is from these reading. All right. So what I'm saying is whenever you are writing an essay or a paper or a passage, probably you're given a topic, you're given a question, or you're given a sentence, right? The, the, something that you have to write about. So read it, and then you can do it this way. Keep your um, ideas organized. So column or charting method, that's number one. The other one is the outline method, all right? So here, if you take a look at it, of course, you already have it. Uh, if you notice, they kind of write number one, and then A, B, number two, A, B, and then, for example, here they have, I don't know if you're able to see it, guys, to see it a little bit. Yeah, I think it's better. Can you see it better now? Yes. Guys, okay. So here, if you're not, I'm sorry, guys, but I really have this allergy. Um, if you notice the outline method, what they do, let the first one, letter A, is like the topic, all right, of that paragraph. And then you have like the topic sentence perhaps and the and the ideas or the other things that are helping you develop that first paragraph okay so probably number one is the first paragraph and number two is the first pair the second paragraph and a and b are the ideas that are helping you develop the first paragraph okay another way that you can actually like go about on organizing your ideas is to have a mind map method all right that's the one that we saw the other course that so we had a mind map remember that okay so here on the middle or on the center you write down like the main topic or the main question or the main idea and from there you go about on like a web kind of thing and then you're spreading it so in every bubble what you write is like the topic of that particular passage i mean paragraph that you're going to be writing about all right and the little arrows that are like coming down they are like your top, your um, idea, your detailed sentences or your ideas to support the main um, paragraph, all right? So this is, in other words here, if you take a look at it, perhaps this person is going to have four paragraphs, all right? Because he has four or five main bubbles, but in this one, they, he's linking it, right? So perhaps he's going to join whatever it's here with whatever it's here to make one paragraph. So that's probably going to have like three or four paragraphs on his essay. All right. Another one is the pyramid method. All right. So it's the same thing, guys. At the top of it, he or she writes 
like what they are talking about the main um the question or the uh, of the essay or whatever you're writing and then you work yourself down on the pyramid like asking like taking notes in a way that you're going to make sure that everything is going to be there if you notice here american civilizations they have the maya here and then they have um, the moche i guess and nazca from peru so they are taking uh or they are writing important things about them like corn crops all right uh and what like the difference between those two all right so here what i wanted i wanted to show you this because it's um different ways to work about like on on organizing your ideas not every um method or not every way suits everyone all right for example for maribel she can work a mind map better than a pyramid method but maybe for nidia uh, an outline method is better, all right? So you can choose the method for you. At the end of the day, is the same thing. If you notice, they have the same information here as they have it here, as they have it on the pyramid method or on the previous one that we had on the, on the first slide. What I'm trying to say is you choose the best method that works for you that keeps your ideas more organized, okay? And then you can work yourself down to write the essay without like any difficulties, all right? So these are like, that's why I wanted to show you this. So you guys understand how you can actually go about, oh, I'm, and there's another one here, I'm sorry. This is another one, which is, um, this one is not, I mean, it's not that it's not functional, but not many people use it, it's a flow chart method. Most of people, they use this one, the outline method and the mind map method, all right? Those are like the most common ones. The most of, for example, when we teach these course or essay courses on, at university, we teach them to do a mind map and an outline method more than the other ones, all right? But they do exist, so that's why uh, I wanted to present sure. them. Yes. Yes. But the floor charts method flow chart, yeah. is the is the pen for for mm -hmm. my case in my work that is 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 very useful. Okay. Because because you have a process when you have right. a process when yeah. you make a flow chart mm -hmm. is is very use, useful. Useful. Yeah. Useful. It's very right. useful for to try to make a, a big ideas in the mm -hmm. process idea right yeah that's what i'm saying manuel it, it 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 really depends on what are you working on uh but usually when we write essays as such like essays then these are the most common ones but again we have these i mean they exist and they're useful all right so you kind of choose and you can decide okay for example in the case of manuel that he uses flow charts for like um, what he was mentioning, then he's familiar with it. It wouldn't be like a strange that he uses or he goes with a flow chart better than a mind map, all right? So you choose which, uh, whichever method works best for you when organizing your ideas, when you're preparing to write either an essay, a paragraph, a passage, a story even, all right? So it keeps everything organized for you, okay? All right, so here we have practicing with uh, a practice with preparing to write. This is what, in a way, we saw at last course, but not everybody was in the course with me last time. So here it says here, um, it says practice with preparing to write before you write your essay. You need to analyze the task and organize your ideas. That's the first thing you need to do. But before that, you need to understand what they are asking from you. Don't lose that like from your from sight. You need to understand really what the question is of the essay or what they want you to write. When you take TOEFL tests, they want you to write essays, not paragraphs, no passages, no stories. It's an essay. All right. Essays are like part of their culture and they want you to know how to write one. All right. And they want you to prove that you know how to write an essay. So analyzing the task, that's the first thing you need to do to analyze it understand it and then you organize it all right brenda do you mind reading sure um 
practice with preparing to write. Before you write your, your essay, you need to analyze the task and organize your ideas. Okay. Analyzing the task. Start by reading the question carefully and analyzing exactly uh, what is what it is asking you to do. An example follows. Question. Modern technology has brought about changes in the roles of men and women. Discuss some of these changes. Do you think these changes have been beneficial? This question is about changes in gender roles caused by technology. It asks the writer to discuss some of these changes, give an opinion about these changes. All right, let's stop right there. Thank you, Brenda. So here, th that's the question, guys. And remember that on a TOEFL test, they're going to give you the question of the essay, all right? Based on that, you need to work yourself around it. Now, what is important to do is to understand what they are really asking from you, all right? So this question is about changes in gender roles caused by technology. It asks the writer too. So you have to do two things here. One is to discuss some of these changes and give, opinion, give an opinion about these changes, okay? So you know that the, those are the two things that you have to like understand. How do you know that? You have to go back to the question and say, okay, what do they want me to do? Once you understand that and once you answer the, the, those questions, then it's easier for you to organize your ideas and decide, okay, should I make a mind map? Should I make a flow chart, a pyramid, an outline? What should I make? All right, now here we're practicing, okay? But on the real TOEFL test, you're not gonna have much time to think about, okay, so which one do I choose? A mind map, a flow chart, or a pyramid, or an outline? No, you guys, by that time, by the time you really take or you face the TOEFL test, you have had this, I mean, you would have to have discovered which method works best for you, all right? So if you're gonna decide, like, it would be a good idea whenever you try writing to say, okay, I'm gonna try to make and organize my ideas using a flow chart. The next time you write something else, okay, no, now I'm gonna try to make a, a mind map. The third time you try to write something, okay, now I'm gonna make an outline. By the end of the whole process, you can feel comfortable with one more than the, than the rest. So by the time you hit TOEFL test, then you have to decide, okay, I'm gonna work with my mind map. That's the one I usually use on the, uh, the outline method, all right? Because I'm comfortable with those uh, both, I mean, those two ways. So then one, once I do that, once I analyze the task and I understand what they are asking for me, I make quickly an outline, like quickly, I say quickly because you don't really have much time to write. And based on that, then I write my essay, okay? You guys understand my point? You understand what I'm saying? Yeah? Okay, very good. So here we say organizing your ideas, okay? So uh, making a mind map will help you generate ideas and organize them in your analysis of the question. Identify the topic or the idea that you need to discuss in your essay. Write the main idea you need to discuss in a circle in the middle of your paper. They are talking about a mind map. If you guys take, have a chance to actually look at a TOEFL preparation book, they usually use mind maps, all right? So that gives you an idea of how they work, all right? So they usually use mind maps more than anything else, although they have presented the other methods, okay? All right, so here they even tell you write down uh, the main idea should be in the middle. All right, where was it? Where was I? Oh my goodness, where was I? Uh, discussing your essay. Write the main idea you need to discuss in a circle in the middle of your paper. Write down any related ideas that come into your head. Use arrows or lines to link your ideas. Afterwards, you can go through your ideas and pick the ones you want to write about. You will have to do this quickly when you do the TOEFL independent writing task, okay? So this, I'm not making this up, guys, all right? So by that time you actually hit the essay test, you should know how to, what method you're going to be using, all right? Any questions? This is what I want us to do right now. I'm gonna give you like about, I don't know, a couple of minutes. I want you to, 
I want you to take this. Can you take a picture of this right now? I know it's in your, it's in your presentation, but take a picture of this right now, as well as the mind map that is on at the bottom. All right, I'm just gonna, whoops, I think it's gonna rain here, guys. <clears throat> Finish with the picture, guys. Everybody. Oh my goodness, I feel terrible with this allergy. I'm sorry. All right, finish the picture. Take, you have to take a lot of, lot of, lot of that one. Yeah, uh -huh. I will. Okay. All right. Did you take a? Were you able to take a picture of the mind map? Just take it, just for you to like guide. I mean, for it to guide you. Okay. So with this question that they have here for you, for modern technology has brought about changes in the roles of men and women, discuss some of these changes. Do you think these changes have been beneficial? And then knowing what they want you to write about, one is discuss some of these changes and the other one will give an opinion about these changes. What I want you to do is, I'm gonna send you to your groups for like five minutes, try to come up with a mind map and I wanna see it, all right? So when we come back from the, uh, to the main session, and for example, if Nidia was working with Manuel, I'll say, okay, uh, Nidia, can you present your mind map related to this topic right here? Let's see what you guys have come up, came up with. Not necessarily you need to have four, like four bubbles here plus the one in the middle. You may have six, you may have three. You try not to have two. All right, so three or more, all right? If you have 10, the, the more the merrier, all right? <laughs> okay, you understand what you're gonna do right now, guys? Yes, yeah, say yes, Fredito, yeah, you understand? Yes. Excellent, okay, so I'm gonna send yes. you right now two groups, thank you, and work on that question, making a mind map, make sure that you make it on the computer, and then when we come back, I'll give you like five, well, let's say 10 minutes, we come back, all right? And then you present your mind maps, all right? And I'm going to go and take a loratadina right now because I can barely stand myself. <laughs> you need it. Yeah. All right. Are open? Oh, Guillermo is back himself.
Uh, hello. Hello, teacher. I'm sorry. Uh, the battery uh, 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 finishing in my I'm sorry. Guillermo? Uh, hello, teacher. I'm sorry. That's uh, okay. You I... were working with um, Brenda, right? Uh, yes. Okay, yes, I'm going to exactly. send you back to, to the group, okay? Oh, okay. Yes, thank you. We have like four more minutes of the activity and then we're coming back. You mean we have to choose the the Hi, topic? Lydia. Hi. Hi. I'm sorry. I didn't. I mean, I didn't see the cell phone first. I mean, before. Um. Do you know what you're working on right now? No. All right. Hold on. Um, Manuel, I'm gonna stop sharing your screen. Okay. Okay. Give me a minute. All right. And I'm sorry, it's raining hard here at home. Um, um, Nidia and Manuel, this is the idea. This is the question. I want you to work around it with this question. I want you to come up, or I wanted you to come up with the mind map based on this topic. Okay. C. 
say it is. The modern technology has go about change in the roles the men and the woman discuss on this change. Do you think this change has been benefits? Ah, it's about the, for example, the main, the main idea is technology change. Technology change the roles in the life and what is the benefit for technology maybe? Yeah, so the top, the, the questions are discuss, discuss some of these changes that the modern, modern technology has brought and give an opinion about these changes. Yes, if well, they have been good or they have been bad. Yes, the, for, for, for example, technology. Technology has a good change, but has a bad change. For example, the deep web. The deep web, you, you found the sexual sex sites or the sales child or for drop money. That the technology is not only good. But the deep web is the bad, the bad internet. For example, is the change in the in the life, the internet, but the technology has a two, a two, a two points, one good, one bad. But what is the benefit? Okay, I think since ever the introduction of technology has. Um, have have had uh, benefits, but uh, some bad effects. Yes. Um, as you can remember, when Nobel, I don't know if I had to say discover or invented the dynamite, he thought it would be a good advance for the the workers, the miners, or the people that do the the streets, but in the other side, the militaries took it as a a war weapon. So his discovering was used, or even now is used more for the bad things that, but for the good things. Yes, is something similar uh, for the for the modern technology, as you said, the World Wide Web. It was, I think, I don't know. It was uh, created as a, a way to communicate, to share information about business or. Uh, feelings But I think uh, it's the same, the use is the same uh, with the with the woman and, and men. Yeah. For example, I use the, that, that kind of technology. I don't yes. go to the bank. I don't go to the bank.
countries in the world. Uh, um, uh, it uh, it has done uh, that uh, men's and women's uh, are uh, connected. Um, <laughs> Hi, Miss. Uh, Miss. Hi, Freddy. We have Hi, a question. Yes, what's your question? We're trying to do the, uh, the well, the mind map. Yes. But we don't have a lot of uh, um, support idea. We just have three. Uh huh. Maybe it's not exactly, <laughs> but we are trying to do it. For example, um, Number one, uh, most opportunities the scholarship for men than women. Okay. Okay. The second one is women are targets of attack when okay. expressing themselves on social social okay. networks. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the last one, the male chauvinist is increases in some countries. The men what? And, uh, what? You said what? The men what? Male chauvinist? Machista? Ah, okay, okay, yes, yeah, huh? Oh, but yeah, but maybe this idea is a little related with the first one. Uh-huh. No, the second one, the, the, more, the women are targets of attack. Okay. Yeah. So you and came up with three are, ideas? Yeah. yeah came up three ideas. All because, right. Because... Uh, uh, we consider that maybe in the rest uh, there are a lot of uh, equality. 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 Yeah. Equality. Okay. Yeah. Equality because um, maybe it's a good uh, the well the modern technology is a good tool for the woman for the obviously women, the men too mm -hmm. yeah, to develop and. Uh, different areas okay. in, in, in business. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So, do you have? Did you guys draw the mind map, Freddy and Evelyn? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let me see it. Let me see it. Can you put it on okay. the screen? I'm serious. A little bit lower. Down. Uh, down. 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 More down. 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 All right. Okay. No, it, Oh, maybe. Oh. All right. Okay. So you, it's not that you made the picture. Mm, no, exactly. No, like no, the picture. That's okay. No, no. That's, <laughs> that's, that's fine. Oh, let's see. Let's see what Evelyn has. All right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Same. Okay. Right. I see that. Okay. So what would the next step would be Evelyn and Freddy is that for example, mm -hmm. let, let me show, let me share this with you. All right, so here you have this, all right? Without the picture, that's okay. But as long as you understand how you're making it, all right? Yeah. Uh, if you have, for example, the main, the idea that it goes, that should go in the middle is the question, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so from there, you're like, you have those three main ideas that you told me about. So most likely you're gonna have three paragraphs, yes? Now, remember Freddie and Evelyn that, for example, here you have, uh, the women are, uh, tell me one of your ideas again, Freddy, the first one. Most opportunity, the scholarship for men than okay. women. Okay, so most, uh, of more opportunities of a scholarship. That's your idea here, all right? So what, mm -hmm. you, what you would have to do next is come up with the little ideas that support this idea, mm -hmm. right? And then okay. if you're talking about machismo and stuff, then you could have, let's say, mach machismo here, you put it in the middle, and have supporting ideas. That's why they are called supporting ideas, because they support this idea. So you can build your paragraph around it, okay? And then the same thing with the third idea, then you have here, um, I don't know, um, like uh, harassment, for example, to mention something, all right? So sexual mm -hmm. harassment goes here, and then you have supporting ideas, supporting this idea oh. right 
Yeah, that's that would be like the next step. I'm sorry I didn't. I mean, I didn't. We didn't go back to the main session, but it was pouring rain here and I couldn't hear anything. So that's why I decided to for you guys to keep on working on your groups. We're gonna yeah, go back yeah. right now, mm -hmm. and then uh, we're gonna use this same presentation tomorrow because of course we're not finished. All right. So yeah, but that's okay. That's fine. I mean, remember that a paragraph, you should, I mean, I'm sorry, an essay for the, for the TOEFL test, most likely mm -hmm. is going to, they're going to ask you to have, like, for it to have 300 words. So you're talking mm -hmm. about roughly three paragraphs, all right? So here you're talking about the introductory paragraph, perhaps mm -hmm. two or three body paragraph plus the conclusion. So that sums up to like 300 words. So I mm -hmm. think you're like on the right track. You don't necessarily have to have four, all right? I mean what once you're writing and if you know this for example if you're taking this course at university the professor would ask you to have like more ideas because then you can decide okay this one would work better than the rest so like if you have seven ideas then you can narrow it down to four but if you only have four and then suddenly you're stuck and then you say okay but now what do I write if I have no more ideas so mm -hmm. when you're making your drafts it's good it's better if you have more ideas, so at the end you narrow it down, all right? But if you begin with like narrow ideas, like only three, then something might go wrong that at the end you, you're not gonna be able to write more, so you're gonna be short, mm -hmm. all right? So that's gonna be like a no good for you, all right? So mm -hmm. of course this is just like we're practicing, but if you keep on like studying this, it would be better for you to have five or six ideas and then you can eliminate and say, no, this one has no relationship with the rest. All right, so you can play with give and take, you know, but if you only have a very limited um, ideas, then it's a little bit harder for you to like work on it, okay? Okay. All right, thank you. Yeah, for the, uh, uh, well, I didn't, well, I don't do the, the mind, mind map, map because yeah. they are uh, look for uh, many ideas right. and then yeah. to and then right and you know what uh, you just mentioned a key point here Freddie it's it's good because then for you like how you did it is like an outline an outline can have like 10 ideas let's say but then you say okay so from this outline I'm gonna take the five ideas that I'm writing about and mm -hmm. then from the not from that outline you can move it to a mind map so it reduces yes. all right yeah mm -hmm. Thank you. I stopped raining all of a sudden. My goodness. <laughs> all right, let's go back to the main session then. Okay. All right, guys, um, I, I want to apologize. I didn't, I mean, we didn't come back to the main session because it was pouring rain here. And I couldn't really hear anything, all right? So that's why I decided like, to keep you guys on your groups. What we're going to do tomorrow is what I want you to do, if you can and if you have time and if you were not able to finish it, based on that question, on this one, I wanna work on this right now. Based on this question right here, the one that we have on the presentation, based on that, I do want you as homework to actually to come up with a mind map in case you were not able to do it. If you did, that's great because you have nothing to work on. If you were not able to do it or were not able to finish, remember that the one in the middle should be the, the question of it, the question of the essay right here, and then come up four or five. I was telling Freddie and Evelyn that the more ideas you have, the better it is because then you can narrow it down to three paragraphs. All right, but if you only have three ideas, then you're limited because if anything goes wrong, you have no more ideas to choose from. All right, so try to have a little bit more to work yourself down. All right, that would be easier because sometimes you can have many ideas, but then you realize when you look at the big picture, you say, ah, this idea that has no relation with the other one. So I'm going to eliminate this one. All right, so I can like go, I mean, work myself down but I still have enough ideas to make my essay of 300 words, the most likely that's what you're supposed to write on an essay for a TOEFL test, all right? So going back to this, so if you were not able to finish, what I want tomorrow as soon as we go, I mean, as soon as we come into class, 
Nidia's first. I want Nidia to show me her mind map and say, okay, Jessica, this is the idea, the, the idea of the question, and this, these are my main ideas and the supporting ideas. Okay. Las, chiquit las ideas chiquititas que están aquí son las supporting ideas, supporting this idea for that paragraph, yeah? So work it like that. Don't look at the rest of the presentation. We'll keep on working on that tomorrow anyway and a little bit more because of the other topics, but we'll write, we are going to finish right on time, okay? So I need to go. I have the other class. Thank you, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow, okay? Have a good night. Bye. 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 Bye.